The shape of a person's face is the consequence of genetic roulette. But while core traits like hair and eye color are largely determined by a few genes, little is known about the nuances of a person's face. A major yet unresolved question in decoding the human genome is, what determines subtleties like the shape of a person's lips or the prominence of their cheekbones? What about one's risk for birth defects? Axel Vissel and colleagues are now coming face to face with the answers. Enhancers are pieces of DNA that facilitate gene expression. They are the tuners of the genome, modulating how a gene is realized. Surprisingly, these tiny tuners actually have a powerful influence in orchestrating the activity of our DNA. The difficulty in studying enhancers lies in spotting them. While it's easy to find protein coding genes in the genome, it's much more difficult to find enhancers. That's because they don't need to be right next to the genes that they enhance. In order to find them, the researchers first collected face tissue from mouse embryos and used a method called chip sequencing. This is where proteins that bind to enhancers are cross-linked with DNA, which is then shredded into short segments. They attached antibodies to the proteins in order to isolate the DNA. Then, through parallel sequencing, they looked for peaks in the genome, short segments pulled out over and over again. The peaks are the most likely locations for enhancers, giving them a region to focus on. With this method, the researchers identified several thousand small regions in the genome that are likely to be enhancers that are active as the face develops. This 3D figure shows what areas one such enhancer affects. In this case, the enhancer drives expression in the red regions. This includes the front area of the nose and the developing palate. To gather more precise data about the function of this enhancer, the researchers removed it from the mouse genome. By using 3D imaging, they confirmed that manipulating different enhancers did indeed change the shape of the face and skull. Of course, mouse and human faces look much different from one another. However, many of the enhancers identified in the mouse genome have similar sequences at corresponding positions in the human genome. Therefore, it seems likely that enhancers play a comparable role in human craniofacial development. Disparities in enhancers probably play a role in making our faces different from each other. Such knowledge will be useful in studying the role of enhancers and other traits and diseases on a genome-wide scale. Researchers are still a long way from being able to reconstruct a person's face just from the sequence information in their DNA. However, the powerful influence of these tiny tuners is flinging open the doors for further research, enhancing the future of genetic exploration.